and welcome. This is Judy Adele and I am going to be doing a music reaction video today. I do not know the song or artist I'm going to be watching. I do know this is a request from the Buggy Buggy channel and um, what I think I have learned from the comments is that Buggy or maybe just the single word of buggy means to share with more people so um so thank you buggy buggy channel for the request and let's dive in i love me some milli vanilli <laughs> I know that there are significant problems with uh, Millie Vanilli, but in the sense of the lip syncing thing, but I still love my Millie Vanilli. following her around against her will. against her will but it was looking like it there for a moment this video and them hanging out with her is kind of feeling like it's confusing my senses. Nice splits by the way. I'm in love with you girl. I'm in love with you girl 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 girl. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. Yes, you know it's true. Yeah. 
Okay, so I know I've seen that video before, but not very often, and mostly in little snippets. Most of the, the, the little snippets that I've seen have been the guys dancing um, and not the rest of the video. So that's interesting. Uh, <laughs> you know, so the whole Millie Vanilli thing, I remember, I remember when Millie Vanilli was out, Arsenio Hall was frustrated because he wanted to have him on his show and he wouldn't have people on the show that, that lip synced. So um, they, he just basically said, I, I want them on my show, but they won't come on without lip syncing. And this was before the whole thing came out about them not even singing their own stuff. And in some ways, I'm kind of like, I think it's a fascinating education of our own selves that we were sort of duped uh, <laughs> and believed it for as long as we did. Um, you know, I'm always fascinated with, um, you know, when you hear the guys talk, the, the front men of Millie Vanilli, you know, their accents are super strong. And then they sing in perfect English, which I don't think is an impossibility, it's, but it's interesting. I, I, I totally remember when it happened. I was in a class and, I, and they were talking about this very right when it happened. I'm sitting in a class, we're doing a bunch of group work and we're listening to the radio and they commented about the Millie Vanilli thing and, and then they made a joke about it not being their real hair and I got upset about it not being their real hair, um, which... <laughs> <laughs> which one of my classmates was like, well, that's interesting. You're not upset about the music. You're upset about the hair. Um, but I think, again, I think it's an interesting thing to think about. Um, also, we have a singer, the Millie Vanilli voice. Um, I don't remember the gentleman's name that is behind it. It's a good, it's a good voice. Voice. The songs are good. We liked the songs, right? Um, but the guys who were singing, or supposedly singing, obviously not actually singing. And my remembrance of everything was he needed, he wasn't a, um, a showman, so he had to have people go out and be the front of, of his his group and um and that succeeded right so it's a fascinating thing how much we need the whole package that you know his his talent and again i don't and i haven't like re-researched this whole thing but his talent wasn't good enough on his own um we wanted the the, the pretty front guys who are really good dancers and snappy dressers and then when that fell apart there was nothing left. Okay, so trust was broken, maybe. Um, but I think it actually speaks to a bigger issue in the industry. I know a long time ago, when before American Idol and all of that, there was a show that was basically, um, and I did not, I, I did not watch the show. I don't remember what it was called, but I uh, knew somebody who who did, and I th I watched a little tiny bit of it somewhere along the line. But they were they were um, getting basically just random public people to audition for musical stuff. And I think it was for opera singers, but they were saying, oh my gosh, there's so much talent out there, right? Like just you know, the people who we see made it. They're not the only people out there that can sing and can really do this. And it, a lot of it, I think this exactly speaks to a lot of this, right? Like you, not that everybody needs to be, you know, as big as Milli Vanilli, but there's so much pressure to be the whole package or to be, you know, you have to be great looking. You have to be an amazing dancer. And I applaud all of those people, right? But for the people who are really amazing at what they do, you know, some it's, it's how often do people, uh, I don't look to be that part. I don't look like a pop star, so I'm not even going to go there or, you know, it, it, it you kind of get shoved another way. I have my own experience of that. Um, when I was growing up, I was never told I didn't have the talent to be a singer. I was told I didn't look like a singer. Um, so, you know, it's like, okay, well, how do I even compete with that, right? What's the point? Um, and I think that we're shifting and changing. And my experience of that was a long time ago. But I think we we're, we're both need all of the pieces together. And we're learning that um, there's a lot more talent out there than we know from just some of the opportunities that people are having for other things, which I think is cool. Um, anyway, all right, that's probably enough of that. Uh, I think the whole Millie Vanilli conversation is a fascinating one. And I certainly did enjoy, uh, in, in, I enjoyed their music. I totally also get that it's a huge problem. So I'm not, I'm not blind to that. Uh, I just think it's all a very interesting philosophical and ethical and other cultural conversation. All right. 
there you go. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me today and watching along. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I uh, love to hear your comments, uh, your thoughts on Millie Vanilli, um, other comments and thoughts and requests for other songs that you would enjoy watching along with me. And yeah, till next time. Take good care and enjoy the music. Bye-bye.